The overall goal of this procedure is to consistently produce lamellar corneal graft tissue that is suitable for transplant. This is accomplished by first establishing a sterile field in the laminar flow hood. Next, the cornea is secured in an artificial anterior chamber. Then, a microkeratome is used to make a smooth pass through and across the cornea. The final step is to carefully transfer the cornea from the artificial anterior chamber to storage medium. Ultimately, successful lamellar graft preparation is verified via slit lamp viewing of the cornea and specular microscopy of the endothelial cells. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like penetrating keratoplasty is that with DSEC, only the posterior portion of the cornea is replaced allowing a small incision surgery with fewer sutures, faster recovery, and improved refractive outcomes. Visual demonstration of this method is critical. The lamellar dissection steps for endothelial keratoplasty are difficult to learn. Precision and care are needed when cutting the tissue to preserve healthy corneal tissue. Begin by turning the nitrogen gas on in the laminar flow hood to 50 to 60 PSI. The turbine pressure on unit should read 3.3 to 3.4 bars. Ensure the pressure on the Moria console is in the 700s. On pumps 1 and 2, the pressure should be below 200 PSI. Using aseptic technique, prepare a sterile field with open sterilized kits and the donor corneal tissue. Ensure that the pachymetry probe has been sterilized and cleaned of isopropanol. Then